Hi parents, how do we help? Well, I've got a great answer for this one. Let's work on writing. In writing, I've already introduced you to the digital writing journals of the children. Now on these writing journals, although you will not be able to edit from home what they wrote, you will be able to add an additional story, which you're welcome to do that. This is a writing journal for both school and home. It, it really doesn't matter. If you do one from home, please, before their first name, put HW for homework so that we can differentiate from what they wrote in school from what they wrote at home. Um, that'll be helpful for when we go to edit. With this, you can discuss what they are writing. You can get a real fresh glimpse on a daily basis of what their skill is. You know, your children will step up, I'm sure, when they find out, oh wow, you're interested in my journal, you're actually reading it. Um, that's fantastic, I'm going to write something to impress you, and I'm going to make sure that I have all my capitals letters in there, and I'm not going to have a lowercase i when I say i. Um, this can be a great dialogue for you, and it's real time. Actually, when they're typing on it, if you are on at the same time, most likely you'll be able to see them adding letter for letter because of the real-time um, connection to the Internet with this. We're usually typing between 845 and 915, so if you're ever curious, you can stop by and peek there. Okay, now for practicing at home. When you're practicing with the kids, I really don't want to turn them off towards writing. I want them to really enjoy it. So rather than approach it from a panicked parent point of view, oh my gosh, you don't know how to do something, let's approach it with a more positive um, approach. And let me show you how simple you can do that. You would just click on your child's journal. If you double click on the white space, they can add another entry. Now, if you wanted to work with something that they wrote already, what you do is you just click on it one time, it will bring you to this view. Simply just highlight that. You're going to right click and uh, select copy, then go over to Word, and you can hit paste. Now that you have it in here, it is in a document that the children can edit. So you can talk, tell your children that you want them to edit what they did that day. Um, you know, you can say, hey, I really like this part, I really like this word, I like this idea, but I'm a little confused on this. Um, could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Or this, between this line and this line, there aren't any periods, it's one long run-on sentence. Is it possible you can find a place for a sentence and I will help you, you try first. So if your child needs some help based on what you see, this is the way to do it. Now let's say that you're at work and you're taking a five minute break and you've already seen what they've uh, written, you've copied and pasted it into a document, and you have a lunch break. Well, if you want to step it up a notch and make it even more stand, um, step back from it, Look, at, you can go to insert right up here and a comment. So you see that a bit uh, right here now. Let's say I wanted a, um, you know, some part of this was confusing. I would just highlight a part that I thought was confusing. I highlight it and I hit comment. And then I can write this part is confusing. And then once I go ahead and click out of that, I can say, all right, you know, um, let's say this is a, a part that can you say this a different way or uh, another suggestion, you know, this word's misspelled, could you find out this, ask some questions about what did you mean by that. So I would highlight another section and then I can put the comment button again and it's like, can you say this um, more clearly? And I'm not using what is currently written as anything. I'm just showing you how you highlight and you can add the notes. Now, your child can come home and they can read your notes because if they click on this, it highlights the section that was referenced. If you click on this, it highlights the section that's referenced. So this right here is just another way you can do it. You don't have to add the notes in the side, but if you're at a job that allows you that time and you can copy and paste and click it into a document, save it to um, a drive or whatnot, you can do that. If you are familiar with Google and you have Google Drive, you can simply go to your Google Drive 
when it opens up, you go to New, and then you go to a Google Doc. You can simply copy and paste it right back in there. The comments are available here too. Um, and here's you highlight the part you want. You go to comments, and you can add a comment. You can say this is confusing, and then hit the comment. And then you can say, uh, can you say it a different way, or this is not spelled correctly? Whatever you want, hit the comment button again. I am confused, and then you hit comment one more time here to get the new one. I am confused. Can you fix? And you just hit comment and it goes right there. The difference with Google obviously is, is that it's online, so you can share it by simply sharing a link. And when the children are finished with it, they can click on it, it'll highlight it a little bit more. But when they're finished with it, they can actually hit this resolve button, meaning, oh, I fixed it. I fixed it. Now, if you forgot what your suggestion was, that you told them to fix, go up here to the editing mode. I'm sorry, go back up to the comment above the editing mode and then you can reopen this so it shows up below and when you reopen it you can see it once again down here. So two different ways, same thing. This is just an online version so if you didn't have a jump drive to save this to you could Always use this if you're using um, Google Drive, just another way, but it's a feature that's still available. Do you need to put a fancy comment in like that? No. But when they come home, you can be cooking dinner while they're going through your comments and editing it, and then you can discuss it when they're finished. When you're editing a piece, do you need to do every single item on that? No, you don't. You don't have to go over every single thing that's wrong with the paper. Figure out what the biggest item is that you want to go through and then look at that and discuss it. So that's how you can help with writing. Discuss it with your kids. You know, pick some parts out that you need, you can fix at home and edit at home. It doesn't have to be everything. It could be just saying, hey, this needs to be more than one long runoff sen on sentence. How can you make this into two sentences? Find something that you can go ahead and work with and make it fun.